Whisper Gaming ASMR. I am Whisper, and today we are playing a new game on this channel. It's pretty obscure, I don't know if you've heard of it. Uh, it's this game called Minecraft. Obviously though, that's pretty uh, lame sarcasm right there. Also another new on this channel, I'm going to finally make a video with hard candies. Also looks like there's a fire there that's slowly coming towards me. But, uh, I am going to eat a Jolly Rancher while I play. And if you're curious, it is a Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher. Which is tied for my favorite with grape, I think. It's hard for me to decide which one I like better. Blue raspberry and grape are both very good. I also like cherry. Not a very big fan of watermelon. But anyway, we are going to be playing Minecraft, which talking about, I talked about in some other videos, that I eventually wanted to play Minecraft, and uh, I have, I think, 11 videos uploaded now at the time of recording this, and I was looking at the keywords for things related to my ASMR videos, and Minecraft ASMR is one of them, and it seems like Minecraft is a very popular game to play while doing ASMR, so that's why I chose to make it the next game I play. It's pretty straightforward. But anyway, I've not played Minecraft in probably well over a year, so... God, I hope my, like, lip smacking and stuff isn't too loud. I'll try to not do that anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm sure there's tons of stuff they've added since I last. I guess, seriously, I've played Minecraft. I haven't, like, every now and then, some of my friends will want to get back into Minecraft. start up a server and play for like a month or two before we kind of get bored of it. I think maybe the last time that happened was at the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. So, now I think it's been probably well over a year. But I'll periodically go back to Minecraft and mess around with it on my own. I should probably break down a tree here at some point. I'm just... See these new things that I'm not used to. Well, bamboo's not new, but is that bamboo? I can't even remember the controls here. How do I bring up my inventory? I've also usually, like recently, when I've played Minecraft, I played it on Switch. Because it's just kind of a nice game to like play on the couch or when you're in bed. So I haven't played with a mouse and keyboard in quite some time. I thought, is it B for backpack? It's not tab, it's not I. What the heck? Okay, well, I just... No, it's E. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. This is also new. I'm assuming this probably isn't new. Oh yeah, it looks like I had a Boba Fett skin on. Oh, okay, Q is throw. I think these controls have changed since the last time I played. But, yeah, so I'm gonna be probably quite a noob at this game. Because I don't know any of these new things. I think there might have been watermelon and cocoa last time I played, but. They're probably pretty new. Also, I hope this isn't too loud. I 
if I can adjust it in post if it is. But that eating sound is pretty loud. But I mentioned this in a previous video as a very early adopter of Minecraft. I remember seeing it when it was still in very early alpha on the channel G4. Which, I don't think that TV station has been around for a long time. Um, like, I think they briefly brought it back. Like, Esquire or something tried to bring it back. Um, but anyway, keeping derailed here. I remember seeing Minecraft on X-Play. This is probably, I want to say around 2010 or 2011. It was still in like very early alpha. I think I bought Minecraft for like three or four dollars when it first was available. So uh, that's pretty early to this game, I think. That's definitely, well, I come from the middle of nowhere, like a very small town of like 900 people. Um, my high school is also very small, like 10 different. Maybe not 10, but actually probably close to 10 different towns went to my high school. And we had um, under 400 kids, so... Wow, this is crazy. I don't think I've ever seen like a bamboo forest like this. This must be like a new biome. God, I can make some crazy books. I can make a whole library if I start here. Probably should start building some type of shelter, though, since... It'll be night before I know it. But anyway, I was definitely the first kid in my high school to uh, play play this game or know about it. So, not to be a Minecraft hipster, but I did play Minecraft before it was cool. But that was well over ten years ago now. And uh, I've not kept up with it, so... Definitely a Minecraft noob now. So, if you're looking to watch someone that knows what they're doing, this might not be the let's play for you. But hopefully, you'll stick with me. So, anyway, not exactly sure what I have in mind for this playthrough. I don't really have any goals. Set. I definitely want to be like kind of chill. Um, I guess I'll let it just naturally progress. One thing I seem to always end up doing in Minecraft is like building several bases and then connecting them via like really long glass tunnels and bridges and things. So. Inevitably, wait, how do I run? So that's crouch. Okay, use double tap W. Inevitably, there will probably be like a very high sky bridge at some point. Okay, I'm gonna make some planks. That's interesting, so you don't need to like memorize the recipes anymore.
right, so I can make sticks out of bamboo. Interesting. side or the outside. Kitty 
whispers. I was watching some of her Stardew Valley videos. And, um, it seems like I haven't watched a ton of other Let's Play ASMR people, but it seems like she talks about herself quite a bit, like her personal life. Which I don't think I've been doing a ton in these videos. I've talked about some stuff, but I feel like mostly been talking about the channel and the games while I'm playing them. So, I thought I'd share, I guess, a little bit about myself or what's going on in my life while I'm playing. Even though this is multiple. Even though I'm sure it'll be pretty boring and bland, but... So today, my girlfriend left for a conference for the next week. So I'm going to have the apartment to myself. And uh, she actually has a pretty cool job. She trains seals and sea lions. So she went to this conference that's all about animal training. So she's going to be gone for the next week. So I had the place to myself all day. And I, uh, my main hobby is playing music. I've been teaching myself to play the banjo for the past year. So, um, I spent some time working on that. I, uh, growing up when I was younger, like in middle school and high school, I used to play several instruments. I never really took it that seriously. Also, this is kind of boring. Maybe I should just go out and see what's going on. Wait, let me pick up this stuff. Um, yeah, so I played instrumentals in like several bands for, I guess let's say about six or seven years of my life. And I come from like a pretty musical family. At least on my dad's side, like the past two generations have been pretty involved with music. So anyway, oh, I'm gonna feel bad killing these sheep, but I do want some wool and I don't have any shears. I'm sorry. Um, what are those black hearts? Oh, does that just mean they don't like me? Why wouldn't you like me? story. I played music for several years. I was pretty, I, was, I wasn't like amazing, but I wouldn't say I was bad, especially for the amount of effort I put in. I think I was pretty good. But then I took about 10 years off from playing any type of music. So from basically 17 to 27, I did not play like here or there. I'd like pick up I played mandolin and bass and guitar. And I, I guess mandolin would be my main instrument. 
little disconnected from recently moving um, back to New York and the pandemic and everything. And I was like, I would like to be someone that gets strangers to sing together. I think that that'd be like really helpful and make people feel connected. And I just feel like things are so divided right now when they don't need to be because I know I think people have a lot more in common than they have different, but I think a lot of things in our society focus on our differences instead of focusing on our similarities. I also just realize I don't have any wood to make more tools with. I, I can make some cobblestone tools. Um, so yeah, anyway, that inspired me. I was like, I want to start learning banjo so I can start learning folk, these old folk songs and perform. I'm in New York City. There's tons of people here. I'd love to perform and bring people together. And uh, yeah, so th for the past year, I've been learning banjo. It's been very fulfilling. It's taken a lot of stress off my shoulders, I feel, because I am. Um, feel like I've finally found what I'm supposed to do. It still is stressful and frustrating at times because it's always slow learning something new and uh, just having regrets. I uh, hope this cow doesn't push me off. That'd be ironic if I get murdered by a cow. Um, yeah, it just makes me regret. I'm like, crap, I wish I didn't take 10 years off from music because I could be so much further ahead than I am now but I try to be positive and I'm like I could have not discovered I wanted to do this until until I was like 70 so figuring this out in my late 20s is pretty young compared to then or I could have never figured it out so anyway I don't know why I got on that long ramble but yeah today I spent quite a bit of time working on music I unfortunately, not even unfortunately, I think it'll be good in the long run, but I also never really sang. I was always too shy to sing for most of my life. Um, but while learning the banjo, it also seemed like a good time to learn how to sing. So I've been teaching myself to sing for the past year as well. So I've been working on learning songs to perform and I've started performing at a few open mics. But most of the songs I've learned are like very obscure beat seeker songs that I like. And I've just finally started to realize the obvious that people, especially when you're performing at like a bar and there's a ton of distractions and it's like an open mic, so hope oh, it's raining. I'm gonna pop another Jolly Rancher. I'm going with Cherry this time. Forming. Oh wow, the cherry is really good. I forget that the cherry is like super underrated. Um, when you're performing at an open mic at a bar, you want to play crowd pleasers, not super obscure folk songs from like the 60s that nobody's ever heard. So for the most part, I've spent the past year learning songs that don't go over super well at the open mic. Luckily, I did just by chance learn a few crowd pleasers. Um, the first song I learned to play and perform was This Land Is Your Land by Woody Guthrie, which at least, as I say, everybody knows, but at least almost everybody in America, I think, is familiar with it. So that one goes over surprisingly well. Like, I've had multiple people, like, multiple different performances that people get up and dance to it, which wasn't expecting. But I'm also a really big fan of Johnny Cash, so I've learned a few Johnny Cash songs, which also happen to be crowd pleasers. Um, by the way, so, I've been working on fig figuring a few more crowd pleasers to learn. 
So I was trying to work on that today, but kind of got distracted learning some other things. And that's the thing that's a little bit overwhelming and can be frustrating is it just seems like there's so much to learn and there's never enough time. But I said to remind myself that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And it'll all come together and I tend to underestimate myself. Like it feels like I'm progressing very slowly. But I think it's just hard to see progress from day to day. And I think I should actually probably go and look back. I did my first open mic last May. So quite a while ago at this point, I should go back and listen to it and see how it compares to how I sound now. But anyway, I don't know what the moral of the story is. Follow your dreams. Things progress slowly. Don't get frustrated. And banjo is a very fun instrument to play. I've also decided to start dabbling in the other, re-dabbling in the other instruments I used to play. So I'm working on learning a song on guitar. I just learned a song on ukulele since it's really easy to learn ukulele songs. And I want to start getting back in the mandolin as well. And not just looking at myself as a banjo player, but just a musician in general. And I think being able to play several different instruments will just make me all the more entertaining when I perform for, for people. So. I don't understand how this clicking works. But yeah, so anyway spent some time playing music today, and then um, I made some, well, I edited some of the thumbnails for my videos while well, my, um, my inventory is getting very full. Oh, I wish that'd be lit. What is the point of... for future ASMR videos and the ones I have posted made them a little more clear kind of highlighted the ASMR aspect more because they were kind of hard to read before um, actually took longer than I expected and then okay now I can finally see what this is if I'm able to mine it what is this else did I do? I really need to exercise. I've been slacking on exercising kind of since the new year started. I was pretty in a pretty good exercise routine leading up to Christmas, but since then I've really dropped the ball. But what else? I feel like the days fly by. I'm trying to think what else I did. I know I worked on banjo more after doing my videos. I worked on singing a bit. I can't remember, I guess. Have some hours unaccounted for, apparently. Oh, shit. Okay, I think if you crouch, you don't fall off the edge. Um, then I had to go grocery shopping, which is a huge hassle. So luckily only, my girlfriend and I typically only go every two weeks. And I think it had been about three weeks because I've been putting it off. But that took up. Wow, they definitely changed what copper looks like. Um, oh, that's iron. But anyway, they changed what that looked like, I think. Um, yeah, so that took up almost three hours by the time I had everything put away. It was basically three hours. 
so I had to go, well, I don't understand, I live in, I mean, yeah, I live in New York City, Staten Island, which is still technically New York City, I, unpopular opinion, but I think it's the best borough, but anyway, I live in New York City, and I still live a half an hour away from where I need to get groceries, which is how long it took me, that's how far away I was when I lived in the middle of nowhere, I lived a half an hour away from getting groceries. But anyway, so I had about an hour of driving, round trip, and then I went to Costco, which was crazy busy since it's a Saturday, so that took a while, and I also had to go to Target, which was pretty quick, but still, it's like another stop, and then after that, um, I went to Trader Joe's briefly, because they have, um, I was hoping to get these noodles that they have that I'm like obsessed with and then they also have two different types of granola that I'm like addicted to and one of which they don't usually have it's kind of like they say it's seasonal but then they randomly have it so I don't know but I don't know if it's cookies and cream or cookies but there's some like cookie granola that I've been obsessed with since I discovered it so they typically have that, which they did. So I bought a few bags of that. And then surprisingly, they had the other one that they usually don't have. So I bought all the, they had three bags of that too. So I bought all they had. It's like cinnamon roll drizzle granola or something. It's really good. It tastes like cinnamon rolls, basically. Um, so yeah, I bought that, and they did not have the noodles I wanted, unfortunately. But that took up, like, three hours of my day. I also bought a new tea kettle, which was kind of exciting. But, I know it's fancier than my last tea kettle, but I think the extra features are going to cause more hassle than they solve, honestly. So, a little bit of a regret purchase there, but... It's not worth the hassle of returning it. And yeah, that was basically my day. So, let me know in the comments if it's super boring to hear about that stuff, or if you'd rather hear about the monotony of my day over me always talking about my plans for this channel. Okay, let's see. Should I, like, build a base down here? Would that be cool? I think I might do that. I've never really done that before. I'll build like a base down here and build like a ladder system to go up to the surface, I think. Okay. Are these like stalactites? Oh, cool. And there's like a waterfall. Okay. We can work with this. I think. We'll have like, well, okay, yeah, I think this is going to be sick. We'll start right here. Also, we're about at the 40 minute mark. So I'll get like a little thing dug out and then probably call it here. Also, how many calories? Jolly Run. This is serving size of one candy. Okay, three pieces, luckily. I'm on my third piece. It's only 70 calories and 11 grams of sugar, which isn't great, but it could be worse. So yeah, we'll see if um, these videos get more views. I'm not sure if it'll work against me because it seems, I'm sure Minecraft ASMR is a more saturated market than Metroid ASMR. I think I might be the only person that's made ASMR videos of Metroid Prime Remastered. Um, and then, yeah, Stardew Valley, obviously. There's a decent amount of people that have made 
ASMR videos playing that, but I think Minecraft is definitely the most popular one, so I'm not sure if that will get me more views or less because there's more competition. Honestly, I was thinking of finally starting Slime Rancher because I've been wanting to play that. But when I saw... Wow, so these Jolly Ranchers only last for about 10 minutes, apparently. I was going to start Slime Rancher, but then when I saw Minecraft was one of the trending searches, I guess, for the people that looked at my videos, I'm like, oh, I guess I'll do Minecraft. But probably the next game I'll add will be Slime Rancher. So keep an eye out for that. Also right now I only have about 60 views total between my 11 videos. Two of them I just uploaded like two hours ago. So those don't really count, but I think my highest viewed video right now is like 26 views. So yeah, pretty niche channel. I think I have like three hours of watch time. And I think 20 minutes is like me watching a video from my other channel. But let's see if this playing Minecraft gives me a little boost. Oh yeah, if you made it to this point in the video and you're enjoying it, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. Um, since obviously... I'm about as small of a channel as you can get right now. So, any type of support or helping that grow would mean a ton to me. You can't make a stone chest, can you? subscribing, a like at least would be super appreciated. Um, but yeah. God, that's the thing with Minecraft now. I want to keep going. But I should probably call the video here. I'm going to make one more furnace. What the heck does a smoker do? I guess I'll learn. Mostly have beef. Crap. That was a waste. Okay. So yeah, I guess we will end it there. And in the next video, we will work on building out the base. And make our way up to the surface, I guess, because I need to get more wood. And then once I have more wood, I'm going to build the ladder so I can just, like, directly go up to the surface. But, yeah. We'll see if things go to plan in the next video, but as always, I really appreciate you spending your time with me, 
And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. And I'd love to hear your feedback or just whatever you want to say in the comments, any type of engagement, just to show that uh, I'm not alone out here would be super appreciated. But yeah, thanks for being here and I'll see you on the next one.